This is Jim Brandt with Best Practical, and today we have another video that shows a preview of some upcoming features in RT6. So the thing we wanted to go over today is the updates to the editor. So the editor is the box that you type in when you want to answer uh, responses to tickets and send email. So uh, if you're familiar with RT, go to that actions menu, and this is the editor that we're talking about. So um, previous versions of RT have used uh, previous versions of CK Editor, and we have stuck with CK Editor for RT6, and we've upgraded to the newest version, which is CK Editor 5. Uh, and you'll see the menu bar is uh, similar, but there's a few different changes, and we're going to go through some of those uh, as we take a look. Uh, but one of the most common things that we do, and this is also possible in earlier versions, is uh, instead of just going to the Actions menu and just replying, but you might quote some reply. And that is similar to uh, previous versions. If you just go down into the uh, History and if you click on one of these um, icons over here, uh, you can reply and all of the con uh, content is quoted. So again, that's similar. But one of the things that's nicer in uh, RT6 is if you have used previous versions in CK Editor 4, uh, what you would do is you would kind of hover over here and you would get a red insertion point. And that would, uh, when you had quoted text, that would allow you to guide where you wanted to put in the content. But there were times when it was a little bit tricky and it was some extra clicking as well to sort of find that exact point. Uh, what we found so far in our testing is you just drop your cursor in here and if you just hit return twice, it, uh, you can see the first one kind of went into a quoted section and then the second one just jumps you out of it. And this has worked really well in our testing. Uh, there were times when some HTML email uh, in the CK Editor 4 would kind of get the editor a little bit confused. It would be tough to get that insertion point. And so far, we have not had any issues with uh, CK Editor 5 with this. So that's been really nice. And uh, as you saw when I went through, if I just hit return once, I could actually add to the quoted section as well. So maybe I missed some text or I wanted to um, paste something in there. You can still do that, but then again, just hit it again, and then you're outside of the quote, and then you can start your response. Uh, there's a few other nice things that we found as we've been uh, kind of experimenting uh, with the new version. Uh, one is there's some nice sort of shortcuts that you can do right from the keyboard so that you don't have to go up into the menu bar. So super common things that um, you might do, things if you like to talk in bullets, which I tend to do, you can just do an asterisk or a star and then space. And just like many other sort of editing tools that you might have out there, Google Docs or um, just editing software that you have, it just detects that and automatically pops in that bullet format, which is really nice. And again, if you're a keyboard oriented person, uh, it can be very quick. It does the same thing with numbers. So if I do uh, start numbering with a list uh, and then I hit return, you can see it's, it's dropped me into a numbered list. Um, and you can even do quoting. So um, the old school email format for quoting was kind of that greater than sign. So if you do that and I space, you can see it jumps me into uh, a quoted section. So really nice if you like to work from the keyboard, there's some uh, sort of shortcuts built right in. If you want to know more about the shortcuts, um, CK Editor 4 did have uh, an accessibility mode, but we have uh, enabled that and put it right in the menu in the CK Editor 5 version that we've included here. Um, and again, this is accessibility help, but this is all the shortcuts as well, which can be super useful uh, for b basically everyone who uses the editor. So learning all these shortcuts, especially if you do a lot of work here, um, probably be um, a big help. So that's right there for you. Um, really quick to access, really quick if you just want to remember what that shortcut combination is for something that you want to do. We've tried to work hard on the menu to keep it down to just one line, just to not take up quite so much space on the page. Um, but one of the really nice things also in uh, RT6 is that you're going to be able to modify the menu, the layout, and then the items that are included there right via RT configuration. So it was possible in previous versions of RT, but you did have to go into the JavaScript. It was a little bit tricky uh, to modify the CK Editor 4 menu layout. So this will be um, accessible right in your RT configuration. So you'll be able to modify these if you do prefer to have some of these things. Like, for example, we put some of them up under a dropdown. If you'd like to have some of these just laid out and maybe have the menu uh, extend to, to two um, menu bars at the top, you can do that if you'd rather have those out, if you use some of these things a lot and you don't want to have them up under a menu. So you'll have uh, full control over that. 
Um, we've included the, the source button. Uh, this is HTML that we're typing in for these messages and it will go out as HTML email in a typical RT. Uh, so sometimes if that HTML uh, gets a little bit messed up with the formatting and you know a little bit of HTML, that source button can be nice. So uh, we did include that there uh, by default. Previously, again, you had to go in and sort of edit uh, the uh, JavaScript configuration to um, get that added. Uh, so another nice feature uh, that will be in here uh, with the launch of RT6 is emoji support. So you can just start uh, typing with a colon there. And then if you know the names of some of the emojis, uh, you can start typing the names and it'll pop up a menu there. Or uh, if you've been watching the menu bar up here, you can just click there and then uh, drop in emojis there. So um, nice support for that in the editor. Another really nice feature uh, that will be in RT6 is the ability to drop images in as well. So again, if you do a lot of stuff with uh, support, maybe it's computer support, a lot of times people will uh, send screenshots and things like that. So what you'll be able to do is just grab your files. If you have a screenshot, drop it in, and it just drops right into the message. So if I go ahead and update that, we'll see that it ends up uh, on the ticket right there. It's quoted, and then that will have gone out in the email that got sent as well. So uh, that's a really nice feature, it, both in the editor uh, that supports that, and then obviously the changes that we made to uh, RT to support that in both the outgoing email and then uh, saving that on the transaction right in the ticket. So uh, a little preview of CK Editor 5, uh, some really nice changes. Uh, we've been really happy with the editor so far, and you'll see it pop up in a few other areas as we do some other upcoming videos where we've also used the editor for other things besides just the sort of reply and comment page. So you'll see those in some videos coming up. Thanks.